It is May the 28th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in St. Simon Sound. We're not sure what's going on here today, but we're wondering if somebody is trying to send us a message. And we just happened to notice this today. If, we don't know if it's the, the welders uh, uh, trying to send us send us a note. We don't know, but we we kind of thought it was kind of humorous today uh, when we saw this, and so we thought we'd include it. Um, definitely, if. Well, out the side today, uh, first thing we noticed when we pulled up was that the lifting straps were still hanging from the VB, not attached to the Golden Ray. Um, uh, they, uh, this is like it was yesterday when we were out. Uh, with the exception, well, we saw the chains moving. And uh, what we've done here, we've taken some video and kind of sped it up a little bit so that you can, uh, if you look close, particularly on the right hand or that offshore block, that cutting block, you can see it shaking and vibrating. And uh, we know that the, the chain is cycling a bit because as we speed this up, you can actually see the movement. If you pay attention to it there, you can see the movement of that block. So uh, I suppose what they're doing now is they've added tension to the chain and they're work cycling it back and forth in an effort to get it worked back up the, the cutting groove and back in the position where they will, uh, uh, assuming, reattach the cutting straps uh, back down to the uh, Golden Ray, secure it, secure it, and then begin the, the uh, cut operations. But uh, the chains look like they are... Uh, at least on the outside of the hull or, or, or right back about where they were uh, just before the fire occurred. So we think that part of it, it may be inside that they're trying to get that chain worked back up in the position. But uh, noteworthy that it it is cycling. I'm not sure they're cutting, but they are cycling the chain. Now, uh, while we were out there today, we picked up on a little bit of radio chatter and it seems that they were having some trouble with the environmental barrier on the south gate, and they had called the divers in. Uh, from what we could hear, they had uh, something fouled down below, and so the divers were back out on the site. This was late this afternoon, and uh, preparing to, to make a dive uh, to uh, unfoul whatever the problem is uh, here with the uh, environmental barrier. This was just right there at that, uh, just off of it. So they were kind of outside of the barrier working on this. But we got a couple couple shots of it. Again, part of the operation, there's something always going on out at the site. Um, and good to see these guys. The, the, it looked like the dive boat may have already gone in for the day because we saw it heading back, back out to the site as we were getting there and uh, moving into position. Uh, you can see those guys are ready to go at any time uh, Friday afternoon back out doing some diving out at the site. We're going to continue to watch the operation and uh, we will break it when it happens when the straps come back down and are attached to the to the golden ray and they actually in earnest begin the cutting. Um, I guess technically you could say they are cutting because the chain is moving by. You can tell that by the uh, chain uh, or the block kind of jumping around, it's probably moving some material down there as it works its way back up through the hull. But uh, we're going to continue to watch it through the holiday weekend. And, uh, of course, we'll try to bring you anything we see that is noteworthy or uh, exciting. But we'll continue to watch around the uh, the wreck here and just kind of take a look at the uh, the hull side uh, as the uh, boat kind of went around we just wanted to get a get a shot of this so we can see the uh, the bottom side of the ship again you can note that fire damage on the hull that discoloration and that kind of kind of runs the, the the length of the of the ship there um, and we're assuming now that they've gotten all clear to to go back to cutting on this section three, and still not sure. I think they're still evaluating uh, those the other sections uh, on the ship. 
probably sustained a little more uh, heat uh, on the what was the stern end of the ship. Uh, so I'm sure they're they're going to continue to look at those, and uh, hopefully everything will check out, and they'll be able to resume cutting on that section, those sections as well, in the same manner, uh, whatever it takes to to finish getting the getting the ship out of here. Well, hey, that's going to do it for the report today. Uh, we will ask you again if you haven't done it, click on that subscribe link. Send us some comments. We always enjoy getting comments. We, we've been a little slow getting back to you guys, but, but to bear with us. Uh, it's been kind of a, kind of a busy week, uh, but we will do that. Uh, most of all, hey, we want you guys to stay safe out there.